Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. Today, we would like to show you how to insert date by using date picker and show this calendar only when the cell in the desired range is selected. Let's go to the Insert tab. Click on Add Ins. Click on Get Add Ins. In the Search Engine, type Date and Time Picker and Set. Note that add-ins may access personal and document information. When we add the desired picker, that is mini calendar and date picker, read through the license terms and the privacy policy before continue. Next, go to the developer tab and go to Visual Basic. Double click on the current sheet, that is this sheet. From the list of objects, select worksheet. Start with the width statement to call the picker, which is placed on sheet 1. So we have sheet one dot shapes dot range to write the name with array bracket back to the spreadsheet check the name of this picker in the name box we can click on the name box and copy the name back to visual basic and paste it remember to add quotation marks close bracket to end the array function close bracket to end the range function press enter next use the if statement to write the condition in order for us to show the calendar only when we selected the needed set for this case, since the date of birth is under column T, which means that we need this picker only if any one of the cells under column T is selected. So back to Visual Basic, I'm going to use the intersect function bracket to check with the target cell, that is the active cell that we selected, and compare with the range that fall within column T. Use colon to indicate range. Remember to type together with the quotation marks. And what we need here is to ensure that this intersect return something, then only we show the calendar. However, in Excel, we don't have any code called something, but we have only nothing. In order to make nothing become something, in front of intersect, we add not. So not nothing is something. If this is the case, then only we show the calendar. So make the calendar be visible. Use dot visible property and set equal to true. We could also adjust the position of the calendar. For example, if let's say we want this calendar just nice and next to the selected cell, we can adjust the top and the left position. Let's first call the top property and set exactly equal to the top position of the target cell. Next, adjust the left position. This time, we should set one column to the right of the target cell. So which means that we need to use the offset function bracket. Do not adjust the position for the row. So put zero and we need one column to the right. So positive one and we are looking for the left position. On the other hand, if the cell selected is not from the given range, then we have else and set the visibility of the picker be equal to false. Start with if, of course we need to end with if. Start with with, of course we need to end with with. And the coding part is now done. Let's back to spreadsheet. So any cell selected, as we can see, the calendar move accordingly and we can pick the date. So click on the arrow button to change the time accordingly. Accordingly. Pick a date, select the other cell, the calendar will move accordingly. As we can see here, once we select a cell outside the range, the date picker disappear. But select any cell under the column D and we should be able to see the date picker. As we can see here. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a like this. See you.